Please take hold. Mm, I'm satisfied, Lord. Mm, just to see you glorify. One more time, take the stage, Lord. Take your Our stage, Lord. Have your way. Have your way. way. Yes, Lord. Just a vessel, oh, nothing more. Ah, when you're done, please take the glory. I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. Yes, Lord, just to see you glorified. Yes, Lord, this is, this is it, Lord, from my heart. Let's just take the stage and be glorified in this place and in our lives. And in this Campus Connect Season 2, be glorified, Lord, in this vision. Be glorified in Jimmy's life. Be glorified in the, in the team behind Campus Connect Vision. Be glorified. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, everybody. You can f find where to sit briefly. We, uh, yeah, before we are out of this place, Amen. I, will, I thank God for our hosts, our hosts, uh, Pastor Rogers and your dear wife. We love you so much. Thank you, thank you, Pastor Ken and your wife. Thank you, Mama. Thank you for being here with us. I'm happy to have all of you here. What is Jimmy? Jimmy, the man behind this. Oh, God bless you so much. Amen. Yeah. Amen. God bless you so much. I love you so much and uh, I will support you. Amen. Yeah. the team that works with Jimmy, the Campus Connect Committee. May you kindly stand up for recognition, the organizing committee. I know you come from different campuses. Just stand up wherever you are. We want to love you. We want to, it's only one. Campus Connect, organizing team. Okay. Some of them are not so sure. Okay. Amen. Okay. God which bless you. Amen. I recognize all the universities represented here this evening. Hallelujah. Can each one of you just wave to me? Don't be too busy on me. All of you, you're bending. I don't know what you're scratching down there. <laughs> Can you just wave to me like this? Ah, thank you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, happy to see you, Dora. Yeah, me Beneza. The, uh, the, the authors? No, the authors. The pioneers. Can you stand up if you're here? The pioneers. It's about 20 years ago, so you can imagine how far. Uh -huh. Thank you, Dora. Thank you. God bless you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor Ken. Amen. Even some of you are watching online and your pioneers. God bless you so much. Yeah. Happy to be here and... Uh, to meet all of you. Me, this, is, this is enough, even if I didn't speak. Seeing young people that are passionate, that are out to serve God. I want to assume that all of you are born again. Huh? Yes? Should I make the assumption that all of you are born again? Okay, if you're not born again, report yourself by putting up your hand. <laughs> yeah, we want to help you. If you're not born again, and probably you'd love to be born again. Can you put up your hand? Huh? Yeah, somebody can receive Christ this afternoon. Do you want to receive Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you become part of the family of Christ? Put up your right hand. I want to see you. 
Somebody, you want to be born again today? Please, please. It's crossing from death to life. Okay? It's a serious uh, decision. I took it about 30 years ago, 1996. <laughs> Some people here were not yet born, including Jimmy. Hallelujah. <laughs> when I gave my life to Jesus, Jimmy was not yet born. Mm -hmm. And when I started, actually when I was filled with the Holy Spirit, he was still not yet born. When I started ministry, he was still not yet born. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I was filled with the Holy Spirit in 1997. I received the baptism of the Spirit and I began to speak in tongues in 1997. Jimmy was not anywhere. Not even in the picture. Mommy thought she had closed. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. We already had an acting last born, and she was enjoying everything. Uh, all the provisions <laughs> for last borns. <laughs> Until later, she had uh, another announcement. Uh, Mama, God bless you so much. Mommy, yeah, God bless you so much. Mm. Yeah. All right. I just want to borrow a few minutes from you. Amen? I know you still have a lot in store, so I wouldn't want to interfere with it. Amen? Just give me a few minutes. I want to share uh, a few things. Now, tell your neighbor Jesus loves you. Amen. Flames Church, I think it would be unfair for me not to introduce you. If you're a member of Flames Church, can you just stand up on your feet? Flames Church. Beautiful, yeah, beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for heeding the call and coming. Now, the Lord has put on my heart just a few things, okay? Which I want you to understand. I've been following online and uh, I've enjoyed the wonderful presentations. I have enjoyed uh, the wonderful uh, testimonies and uh, preachings. Yes, some of you preached and uh, the preaching was awesome. Hallelujah. Now, youth, you are the future of the church and the future of society. Amen? Hallelujah. And so, your, your awakening means a lot as far as uh, the future of the church is concerned. And this is God's desire <clears throat> to ignite a passion a passion to serve him, a passion to love him, a passion to live for him in you. The Holy Spirit loves young people. It's easier to preach to young people because you easily flow. And the Holy Spirit loves people who flow easily. Hallelujah. My God, old people, you lay hands on them and they are like an electric pole. Praise God. An electric pole is not only... Uh, uh, straight, it's, but it's also too hard. You <laughs> Sometimes even when the Holy Spirit is whispering to them, their heads are already jammed with school fees problems, marital issues. You get it. But for you, all you want to see is Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, I want to challenge you. Seek the Lord now. Tell your neighbor, seek the Lord now. Amen. Seek him now. This is the time. I gave my life to Jesus when I was only 16 years. I planted the first church when I was 22 years. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Maybe 21 years even. I think 22 years. I was 22 years. Hallelujah. Youth of Ministries was birthed when I was 24 years. Amen. It's now 20 years. Hallelujah. <clears throat> I have served the Lord throughout my life. I have seen the goodness of God. I want to charge you and to challenge you. This is a time to arise and serve him. Don't wait for 30. Don't wait for 25. Don't wait for 40. Please. 
biblically, when a priest hits 50 years, they push back to go and help the Levites, to go and help the other people, and to advise here and there. But the actual age to be a priest and to serve on the front line is 25 years. According to the Old Testament, this is what used to happen. And uh, when I focus, when I look at it, even today, <clears throat> it still carries sense. It still carries sense. Amen. So this is, ju you're just ripe enough. When I look at you, I just see ripe fruits. Are ready people. Let me tell you, can cause a revolution beginning with now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, when we were praying, I saw God dealing with fear. Some of you have been battling fear. God is already dealing with it. Fear shall no longer stand in your way. Hallelujah. I tell you, fear shall no longer be an obstacle. Amen. The Lord is dealing with it. It's time for you to break camp and advance. We all started when we were timid, shaking, but we, we didn't look back. Don't be discouraged. Don't allow anything to discourage you. Don't let even your background become an issue. No. It's about what you are today. It's about what Christ Jesus is making you into. Yes? Hallelujah. It was a battle for us to kick some of those uh, uh, they call them what? Huh? Sentiments. Things that were Claiming room in us. There are things which want to claim. They want to claim a room in you. They want to say, yes, I'm part of you. I've been part of your family all this long. No, you have no place in me. There's some things you know that stood in the way of your father. There's some things you know that stood in the way of your elder brother. And they are also trying to follow you today. You must say, I cannot entertain you. You have no place in my life. I have purpose. I am moving forward. Hallelujah. I have purpose. I'm moving forward. Okay? There is something the Lord is doing in me. Eh? I cannot just be the same as my blood relatives. No, I am different. I'm a new creation. Hallelujah. I'm a new creation. I am a potential revivalist. I'm a world changer. Keep seeing yourself at that level. Hallelujah. Yes. Keep seeing yourself in that category. You are not a common person. You're not ordinary. Hallelujah. With the presence of God abiding in you, you cannot be a usual man. You cannot be a usual you. Because it ceases to be about you. It ceases to be about you. But now, it, 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 it is about the holy presence, the spirit of God that is at work on the inside of you. Hallelujah. He can turn you into anything. He can turn you into anybody. Hallelujah. Yes. He has turned us into great men. He has turned us into influential people. You reduce but not too much, please. You strain me. Hallelujah. Are you with me, somebody? Amen. So you're not just the copy that your neighbors are familiar with. There's a new copy the Lord is making out of you. And that is the copy that is going to transform. This is a copy that's going to challenge your generation. Hallelujah. Yes. You are a record maker. I saw people making records. Yes. You are a change maker. I saw people making changes. Remarkable changes. Unrefutable changes. Undoubtable changes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You can be the first one to stand in your village and change it forever. Hallelujah. I'm telling you. You have to purpose. You have to have faith. You have to believe that it is possible. And the Lord will begin to work. There's nothing too hard for him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Invest in yourself. After realizing the direction the Lord is leading you in, invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. 
Spend time in prayer. Spend time in the presence of God. I have, this is what has changed Jimmy. A few years ago, Jimmy was not what we see now. He was in another world, but because he purposed, after realizing that God had, God had marked him, God had selected him, God had chosen him for a special time, he began to invest in himself. You must purpose to invest in yourself. Hallelujah. Don't ignore the word of God. It has changed people's destinies. Don't ignore the word of God. It has transformed lives. It has realigned people's minds and thoughts. Don't ignore the word of God. Don't ignore assembling of believers. Be where believers are. Be accountable to somebody. Have a mentor in your life. Hallelujah. Be intentional. Be intentional about growing. Be intentional about becoming greater in capacity. Hallelujah. Yes. There are many, many things that are happening in the world today. We must counteract them by investing in ourselves so that we can also raise our standard and prove them out. Hallelujah. And challenge them. And challenge them and say, yes, even us who are in the church, we can do something new. We can do something better. Even us who are in the church, we can cause a revolution. We can make a difference. Even us who are in fellowship. Come on. Yes. We can make remarkable changes in our time. Most of these great scientists, they knew the Lord. They feared the Lord. They knew the Lord. They feared God. Up to this day, Israel is still specially gifted by virtue of their background. Being sons of Abraham. Most of this sophisticated technology we hear about. You wonder why all these big nations want to support Israel. It's because they cannot avoid. They cannot avoid its help. They cannot avoid its, uh, its knowledge. Its skill. These guys are so gifted. They're very rich. They're so gifted. They have God as their advantage. Praise God. Nothing should make you look down on yourself when you have the presence of God in you. When you have the Holy Spirit in you. Nothing should make you doubt that you cannot make it when you have God on your side. Nothing should ever make you doubt yourself when you know God is by your side. He is your advantage. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yes. Me, because I am what I am because I had God on my side. I had to defy some things. <laughs> I had to say no to many, many things. There was a lot that was meant to stop me from continuing in my education. There was a lot. But I defied it. I said no, 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 no. I continue to move forward. Because I had understood that I had God in me. Hallelujah. I had understood that God was by my side. That is simple knowledge. Simple knowledge. Understand. Tell yourself that God is with you. Hallelujah. And nothing will by any means challenge you. Nothing will terrify you. You can go to any school. You can go to any university. You can go anywhere because you know God is by your side. This is how we have made it this way. This far. Because we are sure that God is on our side. Not uncle. Not uncle is on our side. God is on our side. Yes. Not a big shot in government. God. You need God more than any of those big shots. As long as you have God by your side. These people will begin to look for you. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> eh? Opportunities will begin to present. Because nothing can overpower the favor of God. You cannot put the favor of God under shadow. It cannot happen. No. It will always pop out. It will always outshine any other surrounding colors or surrounding uh, shadows. It can never, never be covered. 
That is the favor of God. Praise the Lord. Let's go to Timothy. Yes. Second Timothy. It's just we're about to finish. Hallelujah. I just, I told you just by looking at you, it's already good enough. Amen. Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 6 to 7. Mm -hmm. Second Timothy, where are you? Uh-huh, you're there somebody? Verse 6 to 7, for this reason I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For the spirit God gives us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. This is a word for you, young people. Praise God. Fan the gift. Amen. What does fanning the gift mean? Amen. Seek God's presence. Hallelujah. Seek God's presence. Use the gift. Use the gift. We've been studying uh, 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 stewardship. How you can steward your talent. How you can steward your gift. Any gift God has given to you, it is yours. It is yours. And he wants you to fan it. He wants you to use it. That gift is meant to help your neighbor. It is meant to help your generation. It is meant to help the church. Youth, you must be involved. Be involved at all levels. Be involved in leadership. Be involved. Let us saturate everywhere. Let us be everywhere. Hallelujah. I determined to make a difference as a youth in every place I went to. When I went to university, oh my God. You remember Nehemiah's story? How he told the Israelites, he said, as one hand should build and another one should carry a weapon. One hand I was reading my books, but another hand I was carrying a weapon. Hallelujah. Yes. Don't be fooled by only being a bookwoman. And all that you're doing in that school, in that institution is to read chemistry. The Lord has planted you in that school as his ambassador. He wants you to make a difference. He wants you to use the gift he has given you. If you can preach, preach. Hallelujah. Amen. If you can teach his word, teach it. If you can sing, sing. Let everybody know you. Come out prominently. Let them know you as a true servant of God in that university. And the grace of God will help you even in reading the books. You still make it in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We are not going to wait for outsiders to come and transform our universities. We are not going to wait for outsiders to come and change our institutions. The Lord has planted us there. That is our mission field. It is your mission field. The Lord has planted you in that particular university for a reason. Me remember when I had finished senior sex yesterday. I think, oh, this morning. I was busy telling my wife. I think it's yesterday. My assignment was in Makere University. And then the, some people were trying to confuse me to go to another university. I said, come on. Eh? They said, now, how will you make it at that university? I said, my assignment is at Makere University. They did not even give me transport. Hallelujah. I said, okay, you are on your own. I said, I'm not on my own. God is with me. Hallelujah. I came to Makere University. I was there all the years I was there. And I can assure you, I saw, I witnessed the hand of God. I saw the glory of God. Hallelujah. Amen. At this university, I use my time to touch lives. Use your time to touch lives. Hallelujah. Touch the lives of your cosmetics. Don't let your cosmetics go to hell when you had an opportunity to be with them. When you had an opportunity to sit with them. The Lord has planted you beside that person because he knows you are the right person to preach to that person. You are the right person to change the life of, your, of that neighbor of yours. And who knows what that neighbor will do when he has accepted Christ. Today I was, I had visited my mother and when I stepped out of the gate, I came across a mad man. Fortunately enough, when I greeted him, he answered me. I said, okay, now that you have answered me, it means you have a level of knowledge. I said, I have you now. Praise God. <laughs> I, engaged the, I engaged the madman. That is how determined I still, I, still I am. Hallelujah. I engaged the madman. 
I shared Christ with him. And I said, I, 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 are, you, are you ready to give your life to Jesus? He said, yes. <laughs> and I told him, if, if you mean it, kneel down. The old, the madman knelt down. Amen. <laughs> I said, lift up your hands. <laughs> he lifted up his hands. But I made sure my eyes were open. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. I prayed for him. No, I, I, I led him in a confession prayer. And he, he was, and he speaks good English. And he was repeating after me everything. Hallelujah. <laughs> after that, oh my God, I chose to pray now for him. And the man was, this time around I closed my eyes. I was now confident. Praise God. <laughs> I prayed for him. I prayed for him. Afterwards, I said, okay, can we go out, go out together? He said, yes. We went down. I bought for him something to eat. And, uh, I sent him back to the place. Tomorrow I want to follow him up. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Who knows what that, can, that man can become. Hallelujah. <laughs> as long as the, somebody crosses eh, your, your path in any way, they are at a risk of receiving Christ Jesus as their Lord and Savior. <laughs> Hallelujah. Anybody who comes around you, make sure they... They are at a very, very high risk of turning out from their sins. Because they are meeting a charged woman. They are meeting a charged man. They are meeting a revolutionary. They are, they are meeting a man with a decided mind. Hallelujah. A man who has made up his mind to preach Christ in season and out of season. Use your gifts. The Lord has not given you a spirit of fear. But of power, love, and self-control. Hallelujah. You have the power. Hallelujah. You have the love. You have what it takes to make the difference needed in that person's life. To make the difference needed in that neighborhood. Hallelujah. You can make the difference so much needed in your family. Amen. I stood in my family as one man. But today Jimmy is serving God. Hallelujah. My mother is serving God. She knows what I went through as a young man. I had purpose to serve God at every cost. I was threatened. I was threatened. I was denied some benefits as, as a child. And I, I, I didn't want to know. You must be ready to pay any necessary price. As long as Christ Jesus is glorified in your life. As long as Jesus Christ is glorified in your life. You must be prepared. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes I hear lame excuses. You know, they, they have begun to hate me at the school. You know, they are persecuting me. What do you expect? Come on. Hallelujah. What do you expect? You're sharing someone who is not common. Keep your focus on me. Hallelujah. You're sharing somebody that is not common. Jesus is not common. Don't imagine that people will treat him as a common person. No. Don't imagine that the enemy will be comfortable when you're trading Jesus in that family. When you're trading Jesus in that community. Don't imagine that the enemy will be comfortable with you. So you must be ready, ready to preach Jesus at every cost. <laughs> Hallelujah. One time I read a scripture and it said, I have not come to bring peace. Ah, I said, okay, Jesus, tell me. I have come to bring a sword. I have come to set a man against his father. I said, oh, that is why my father is not comfortable with me. Because the man I am talking about is not common. Praise God. He's not common and yet he's the most needed man to change, to transform that community. Jesus is the antidote. He's the antidote for the problems that we have in our community today. He is the solution that your family needs. If you want your family... To arise, if you want your family to be healed, Jesus Christ is the answer. Don't look anywhere else. The answer is with him. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, pastor, I'm being ridiculed. You know, some people are even singing about me. You know, in the class, come on, you're just starting. The Bible says even your brothers, those who went before us, they faced even much more resistance. 
They, they face much more resistance. You have not resisted to the shedding of blood. You still can speak. People were eaten by lions. People were burnt alive. You're here playing games, saying that you're being hated. Come on, arise. Understand the value. Understand the weight of the Jesus Christ that we are talking about today. Hallelujah. He is of such a great value. He's of such a great weight that not everybody can be comfortable with him. Even though it means you losing your life, purpose too. But share the gospel. Share Christ. Arise, young man. It is our season to make a difference. Hallelujah. Arise. It is your time to make the desired difference in this generation. It is you. Don't look at your neighbor. It is you. It is you to do it. It is you to do it. Go to those lecturers. Challenge them about Christ. Go to those professors. Yes, know that the three years I was at the university, I was able to witness for my Lord. I witnessed for him beyond boundaries. I witnessed for him in season and out of season. I went to offices. I shared about him. I shared about my love. Hallelujah. I went. Yes, I went near and beyond. I went. Take somebody out. Take somebody out. And you are. Only wanting to share with them Christ. Say, by the way, I want to share a cup of tea with you this evening. And what's the agenda? Jesus loves you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Invite somebody to your, to your room. Invite somebody. And after giving them that cup of tea, after what, you know why I invited you. I want to share with you the love of my life. I want to share with you about the man who changed my life. I want to share with you the man who has given my life significance. I want to share with you the man who has given my life meaning. And this is Jesus. Hallelujah. And you don't know what God can do with that person. When Andrew invited his brother Peter, Peter ended up becoming the rock. Peter ended up becoming a great man that later preached the gospel far and near. He just invited him, my brother, come and see the one they have been talking about. Peter came. We don't hear so much about Andrew, but we hear so much about Peter. But we invite Peter, his brother Andrew. Praise God. You don't know that person you're inviting to Christ, their potential, and how they can be even of greater, greater influence. They can do much more than you. God can use you just to bring them, to introduce them. And after that, you don't know what God can do with them. They can do greater things than what you're doing today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I love you so much. Are you ready to catch the fire? Can you stand up and catch the fire? Stand up on your feet. You say, Lord, I am ready to catch the fire. I am ready to talk about Jesus. I am ready to, to stir my gift. I am ready to find the fire. Pray, pray, pray. Somebody pray like you. You've never prayed right now. Yes. In one minute we are praying. Yes. Pray, 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 pray. God, God, I am seizing the moment. I am catching the fire. I will not look aside. I am prepared. I will talk about my Lord. I will, talk, I will not be ashamed of the gospel. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. I will share Christ. I will share Christ everywhere I go. I stand in that university as an ambassador. That university is my mission field. KIU is my mission field. Gulu University is my mission field. Yes, Metropolitan, it is my mission field. St. Lawrence, it is my mission field. I will hold, I will hold a weapon in, my, in, in one hand. And then I'll read books. I'll cut a book in another hand. I will not just be for books. But behold, I will carry the book in one hand. And behold, I will carry a weapon, which is the Bible, in another hand. I'll share Jesus Christ. I'll share Jesus Christ in season and out of season. I'll talk about my Lord without fear or favor. Behold, I make Christ known to my generation. As long as I live, many will know Jesus. As long as I live, revival will never leave my lips. As long as I live, wherever I go, I'll talk about my King. I call him my King. I call him my Lord. <laughs> Woo! Somebody pray that the Lord will use you in your time. 
Somebody pray that the glory of God will be revealed through your life. Pray. I embrace the work. I embrace my assignment. I catch the fire. I get ready. I get ready for the assignment. I get ready for the work. I get ready to serve my God at every cost. For I know I have what it takes. I have the anointing as my advantage. I have God by my side. Yes. I have others who have gone before me and have made a difference. What about me? I know I can as well make a difference. Yes. I know so and so as, my ex as a model, as my example. He made it during his time. I can make it. If he went 10 miles, I can double those miles. I have a son who told me, Daddy, I know you received a double mantle. But me, I am going to receive a mantle times seven. I don't know what you are longing in your heart. I don't know what the cry of your heart is. Yes. To which dimension are you ready to serve God? To which level? What are you viewing right now? You cannot remain an ordinary person if you want to do extraordinary things. You must first become extraordinary for you to do extraordinary accomplishments. Purpose to break the norm. Purpose. Purpose to break camp. To rise to a higher level. Purpose. Purpose to break the norm. Purpose to leave the status quo. And that is how you're going to make a difference. That is how you're going to the, to the next level. See yourself as a change maker. See yourself as an agent of change. See yourself invading spaces, different spaces, as an ambassador of heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your voices to God. Matori baraba kozele prada baba 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 baba. Makota raba kozele prada baba. Makota riba kosi ada baba. Makori bari ada baba. Makota re kosi debo. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you for this day. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for such a beautiful day. Mashata reboko seke le prada baba baba, matori baraba kose le prada baba baba, mande reboko seke le prada. Thank God for this day. The Lord has done it. The Lord has done it, and, and is still doing more. Shareko se prada baba, mando reboko se le prada, marakori baba baba, mareko tayala baba. Lives have been changed. Lives have been transformed. Matori barande, marakori bayala baba. We give you thanks. Heavenly Father, we say thank you for today. Just thank this Almighty God who has never come this place today. Many are dead, many are not here today, but God has sustained to be here. We give you thanks, we give praises, my Lord. I'm amazed. We are amazed by your love, Heavenly Father. Thank you for this day. Thank you for the world. Thank you for those who have been part of this campus connected on two. Those who have given their money for the sake of this to happen. Those who have put in money for this to happen. Those men and women you have used, King of Glory. I uh, will pray for a blessing upon them, Heavenly Father. We pray, Heavenly Father, the lives will change. You change their finances, Heavenly Father. The men that have stood to support this. The papas, the mamas, the chairman, the committee of Campus Connect. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. Words are not enough. Words are not enough, my God. Words are not enough, my God. I'm amazed, my God. I'm amazed, Lord. And 
I know God, you're still doing more. I'm amazed. Oh, shada balabadosia. Mahatori balandosia. Yes, Lord, we thank you for your glory in this place. Thank Heavenly Father because you've done it all. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We pray this move, my God, with the nations, my God. God is taking compass different nations. Matori Palados. It is conquering the world. Nations opening up. I declare this as a man God has put on the heart. I know where God is taking this vision. My God, lift men who can support this vision. My all over the world. There are men God is bringing up and women to support this vision. Makori balande. Oh, sharada baba 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 baba. My God, you've done it with a man. I say thank you, my God. She naked more, my God, is a baby. Oh, thank you. Mashada baba. Matori See how far you brought. Hey, I'm so glad he found me one. I can see, I can tell, and I know it's your grace, oh my. God has done this. Praise the Lord. Uh, our time is first spent. We raise the praises of uh, Pastor Justin Nabosa. She's in the house. Praise the God is in the house. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together and we thank the Almighty God who has used the man of God to speak to us. We are going to crown this. We shall have the two guest worshippers. Then after that, the chairman will crown the campus connect. Mr. Mukisa Allen. So allow me to welcome the servants of the Lord. I want to first welcome crazy Godfrey. We shall end with the woman of God, Pastor Justin Abosa. Praise the Lord. 